okay, well, you know, you work hard, so spoil yourself. <laughs> but um, it's more of an upkeep than it is a spoil yourself situation. It's six o'clock Monday morning. Yesterday was so nice. Babe got me some roses, which was very thoughtful. For Mother's Day, he made me breakfast. He gave me a bath. It was really nice. Bomb. <laughs> now is the reality. Today is such a cold, wet day. I'm gonna pop by the Rite Aid real quick because there are two items that I want to get. And um, then I'm gonna go in to start my day. I'm not very excited because the day is already so wet and you can just tell that it's not gonna be the best day weather-wise, especially not to be outside. And lately I've really been enjoying being outside, but it is what it is. It's too early to start complaining. So I got what I needed, but oh my gosh, the Rite Aid bags are so freaking clear. Oh, it's just like I'm not trying to have everybody see what I bought at 6 a.m. Even though it's nothing to like hide or whatever, but still. Um, so yeah, I'm about to really get my day started. And I'm already so tired. But the morning is off to a great start. I'm here editing a video. And guys, let me show you how real the Ratchet City is. <laughs> so... I waited so long to the point where a nail fell off and everybody knows how crazy you look with like one nail falling off. The funny thing is yesterday at like five o'clock I texted my nail tech and I was like, hey, what time do you leave today and what does your schedule look like? No, I said, um, are you working today and what does your schedule look like? And she was like, oh my gosh, I just left work and I was in shambles when she said that because I was just like, oh my gosh i was here all day and the moment i decided to text her she's leaving and then this morning when i was putting my backpack on the nail just came off and i knew it was coming off but i thought i had some time i mean let's face it it's been a month since i went back to get them done so i knew like they'd either start falling off or more water would start going underneath so now i'm definitely gonna have to make some time this week to go get it done the crazy part about all of this is i can do my nails myself but the last time i tried doing them at home the landlady said they could smell it like the smell was really intense i was like you know i'm not gonna do that anymore because we're not the only ones who live there and if if it's affecting other people then that's just not the best thing so i was like you know what let me go pay to get them done but i can do them myself i've always done them myself for a hot minute now but now it's just not convenient and it's just like oh my god because yesterday when i was talking about it my husband was like can you not do your nails yourself and i'm like yeah but and then I don't even have like the nude powder to like refill these, which means I'd have to take it off and oh, it's too much work. So I feel like I'm gonna, um, I said what I was gonna do to them already. I'm not gonna go over that again. Anyways, I'm just here, it's nine o'clock. I am both editing and watching a video right now. So that's what's up. It's supposed to be like a thunderstorm outside. And I promise you, the camera does it no justice it literally it literally oh my gosh now it's better it literally looks like the sky is about to burst open and rain is gonna just come leaking out of the sky like when you turn over a whole bucket of water it is so crazy now it has cooled down because i was outside earlier today and it was not even cool like it was so hot i did not know what to do with myself not only was it hot but it was really humid too so it was just like you did not just you just did not get a break but now it really looks crazy like how it looks makes you kind of like afraid to go outside it looks so crazy i'm wondering if because it could rain now i mean it looks like it's gonna rain now and then tomorrow it might not rain but it's just like you you gotta know but it really looks so ridiculous outside right now 
like you're not trying to be out there so today is Thursday today is not Thursday today is Wednesday I feel like shit right now but I'm up pretty early because I'm trying to catch a bus at um 5.50 it's 5.40 right now why I'm trying to catch a bus at 5.50 is because this morning I have a little flexibility in terms of like the time and stuff but it's a gloomy morning so instead of leaving at like 6 o'clock for the ride to take an hour and 10 minutes I'm gonna leave at 5.50 which gives me a little bit more time but um I mean this morning I could have totally gone with Duane but I didn't I thought that was my father-in-law but it's not I could have gone with Duane but I'm just like oh it's so early if I could just get an extra hour and 20 minutes of sleep that would be nice so I did that and now I'm leaving I had breakfast which whenever I have breakfast it's always a good morning and I had some tea too so I feel good right now I just need to go catch this bus one just left that must have been the 541 it's like two minutes late um, it's supposed to rain today and I have this class to go to, which I'm not really excited about just because it's supposed to rain. Cause it's just like, who wants to be outside when it rains? I have this pet peeve. I hate water on my toes or my foot. My husband thinks it's so funny, but it bothers me so bad. But, um, I'm winded, I'm going to the bus stop. I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit. It is Thursday and I'm doing laundry, y'all. I'm so afraid of dog, it's so bad. So this guy was coming in the elevator with a big ass dog. And I literally asked him nicely, sir, could you please take the, take the next one? Cause I'm so afraid of the dog. Anyways, he laughed, but he did, cause it was a big ass dog. And then when I was coming back, I tried taking the elevator, but it's not working because it looks like they're like servicing it or something. And so I attempted to take the stairs to the first floor, then walk around to go to the basement. And what do you know? As I opened the door to the stairs, another man was coming with a same big ass dog. I ran so fast. I'm sure the guy thinks I'm delusional, but I was so afraid. So early but I'm starving so I literally just went to get something to eat at the Rite Aid and I also need a change and they can't really um change money for you unless you buy something just because the register is only opened when you make a purchase so that just costed me but um, I had some rewards or whatever which is amazing so I saved two so now I'm gonna go back and like finish the laundry, eat something, and then go back to the apartment because I have a class that I need to be at at 11.45. But lately, that class has been so full. So I'm literally gonna have to leave at like 11.30. I'm gonna have to get there by 11.30 just to make sure I'm early and I get like good seats or whatever. It's Friday evening, almost 5 p.m. and I'm at the little kitty park. I'm going home soon. I just need to figure out if Dwayne is going to come get me or whatever. Look how nice and green it is in my background right now. Most of my nails have fallen off. <laughs> one on this finger, like three. One on this hand. And like three on this one. So now I'm going to just take them off. And then I'm not going to do them again for right now. Except for if there's like an occasion. 
because I just cannot be bothered and my friend shed some light on the fact that it's like an upkeep I mean I always know in the back of my head that it's like an upkeep but I guess I thought about it like okay well you know you work hard so spoil yourself <laughs> but um it's more of an upkeep than it is a spoil yourself situation so um I'm just here waiting for it to be 5 30 or six o'clock ish so i need to text Dwayne to to figure out what time he leaves work or if he left yet so i know what i'm doing i'm starving my head hurts when i go back i'm gonna take to a leave and then probably when Dwayne gets me we could go get something to eat because i'm so hungry it's not even funny then um i'm not sure what we're gonna do this weekend but i'm i know i need to do some laundry I'm going to wash some of my shoes outside. I'm really hoping tomorrow is like warm. I'm going to wash some of my shoes outside. Oh, I really don't know what else yet. But um, yeah, that's what's up so far. I feel like this clip is going to be a part of a week in my life. Because I've only vlogged for like seconds all week this week. So I'm going to compile it and make it a week in my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because that's free and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video